Hi guys, my name is Michelle Knight and I am from Little Miss Bookkeeping. This is a video on how to nominate a registered tax agent or BAS agent in your online services for business. So recent changes have meant that we have to do a client to agent linking steps. There are detailed instructions on the ATO's website, but I thought I'd go through some of the steps uh, just to show exactly how that works, uh, particularly your uh, relationship access manager and uh, online service and, and particularly nominating your agent. This isn't going to go through how to set up your MyGov. I'm going to assume that you have already done this in step one. In this video, I'll blank out um, any Thing for privacy and I will use a, uh, a dummy business uh, as an example. So assuming you have done step one, uh, step two is linking your MyGov ID to your uh, relationship access manager. So you'll go ahead and pop into that uh, link. So um, it's a little bit, I suppose, hard to see, but the link was halfway down uh, this box. So you will log in with your MyGov ID to set up your linking to your relationship authorization manager and it will prompt you to log in via your MyGov ID. So we'll go through that step via the two-factor authentication. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use uh, the following business name, uh, Beauty by Bruce P2ALTD as the business that I run. Uh, my French bulldog's name is Bruce or Bruce Mackay. So um, I sort of use that as a dummy uh, in some of my uh, tutorial videos. So I'm gonna pretend I'm Bruce Mackay. I have an ABN um, with a sole trader and an old sole trader ABN that I need to link, but also a new com company ABN that I need to link. What you'll need to do is go to the top option here to link your business. So we'll go ahead and click on that and just follow the prompts through. It'll prompt you to enter uh, your details here. Uh, so go ahead and uh, put that in. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the next step because I've linked or Bruce has now linked all his businesses. But if you you either navigate, if you don't have any other businesses to link, you'll either navigate back to your main screen and you can actually double check um, the second uh, selection here where you can uh, view or manage your authorizations and it will show the entities that you're attached to. So in this example, we have uh, Bruce's, Soul Trader, ABN, his new company, Beauty by Bruce, p 2 uh, and he also is uh, the trustee of a super fund. So uh, that is the third option now. So now that you have all your businesses that you're associated to linked here, we can move on to the next step of the client to agent linking process. So going back to these instructions, uh, we want to now move on to step three. So log in for online services for business. Now it's important to remember that your uh, MyGov ID, your relationship access manager and your online services for business are essentially like three different, I don't know if platforms is the right word, but they are sort of slightly separate um, websites or setups that you'll need to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and complete step three. So before we log into the online services for business website, we'll quickly just read through how to actually nominate either your BAS or tax agent. Uh, just to be clear, you have to nominate the agent. Your accountant or your bookkeeper actually can't do this at their end. So um, it's really important that we do these steps. Otherwise, we're going to have a bit of back and forth with your accountant or your bookkeeper going, I can't add you to um, our system because you haven't done your bits at your end. Uh, unfortunately, there's a bit of teething problems with this, the new way the ATO have set this process up. So there may be a little bit of uh, troubleshooting uh, if either yourself or your accountant such bookkeeper might be stuck. Uh, the steps in theory are pretty straightforward. Uh, you'll log in to your online services um, and then you'll go through the prompts to nominate your agent, which I'll run through step by step. Uh, in this helpful sort of PDF, it does go through the screenshots of that. So um, we'll do that right now and I'll just uh, clarify some of the pain points that you might come across. 
So I'm across on the website now, so you'll go ahead and log in. Again, this is connected to your MyGov ID and having done uh, the Relationship uh, Authorization Manager linking, uh, we should be all good. What you'll notice is that if you have multiple entities that you're attached to, you have obviously multiple different uh, ABN selections that you can go in um, to nominate your BAS or tax agent. Uh, you will need to go through um, each one and do that process individually. So if you just have one ABN, then you'll just do it to the one ABN. If you say you're a sole trader, um, if you have five, 10 different entities uh, and you need to assign that to your new tax agent, you're gonna to have to go through and uh, do the process five, 10 different times. So what we'll do is we'll select uh, Bruce's sole trader ABN uh, and hit next, so the top one. Uh, just double checking that it is in fact um, the right entity in the top right. So we, you'll then navigate to your, uh, your profile and then agent details. And then you have uh, agent details here. So if you have a current uh, bookkeeper accountant, uh, you'll see those details in here. Uh, I have uh, actually done this as a bit of a trick. So if you are an individual slash sole trader or other sole trader with an ABN, um, you don't actually need to uh, nominate your uh, tax or your tax or ABAS agent because um, one, there is no option to do that um, at the bottom here. Um, online services for businesses actually for all your other uh, entities, your companies, your trust, your super funds um, as the, I suppose, process in how the ATO wants us to link those entities um, with tax and BAS agents. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, click this button called Switch ABN and I'm going to show you what it looks like in Bruce's uh, company, Beauty by Bruce p LTD. So if we go to uh, the second option is company and hit next, what will happen is um, again, you'll see the dashboard, you'll go into profile and agent details. Again, if you already have a uh, existing agent details for your tax or best agent, you'll see them under agent details. The actual agent nomination is the little bit below. So um, in uh, Bruce's, I suppose, like sole trader, um, this option wasn't available. And I wanted to show you that error because I think a few clients are getting a bit confused as to where they need to be navigating to. So right now we're in Beauty by Bruce P2A LTD, and we actually want to complete the step down the bottom to nominate the agent. So it's quite simple. You'll just follow the prompts to add your uh, either your BAS agent or your tax agent. Uh, and let's do that now. So you can either search via their name or uh, they may have given you their registered agent number. So I'm going to search via the agent name. Here it is. We'll tick the box to add them and then you'll have the agent nomination successfully submitted. So if you uh, navigate back, uh, you'll be able to see uh, the agent nomination. Uh, if you your BAS agent or your bookkeeper is separate to your tax agent, you uh, will need to add them both separately. So they appear um, separately at the bottom. Uh, if, for example, your accountant does all your bookkeeping and your BAS and your tax returns, then obviously you just only need to add one uh, agent nomination below. And while we're at it, because Bruce has his own self-managed super fund, we're going to double check that the agent nominations for that entity are all good. So we'll go ahead and switch the ABN to his self-managed super fund. So that will be the bottom option. Again, we'll navigate to the agent details area. So as we can see, there are no agent nominations for uh, any agents at the bottom. So uh, Bruce will go ahead and add his uh, bookkeeper and accountant there. Uh, we do notice that um, there are already agent details uh, in this bit here. So it gets a little bit confusing. I think um, some people are a little bit misled. They get to this screen and go, Oh, Michelle, we've already added you. Um, you appear under the agent details. No, no, no. Um, you actually need to ensure that you that you've added your bookkeeper accountant under here 
to make sure that uh, they can then add, add your uh, entities to their portal. And the last step is to tell your BAS agent or your tax agent that you've nominated them. Unfortunately, we do not get any notification. Uh, it'd be nice if the ATO could uh, update this process to let us know that uh, our clients have done that for their entities, but at the time of this recording, uh, that's not the case. And the final step is if you get stuck on one of uh, these steps, you'll need to contact the ATO directly to troubleshoot, uh, which you can do by phone. Unfortunately, your account or your bookkeep actually can't help you with this process. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a troubleshooting uh, mess with the new process, but hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.